Hello everyone and welcome back to Super Smash Bros. Melee for the GameCube. Um, we went through the event matches and now there's one thing I need to show off and that's target test or break the targets. Basically it involves you going through a, a uh, little obstacle like stage and you have, to just, you have to break 10 targets and each character in this game has their own distinct um, to break the targets minigame. Carrot, well, char for characters like Zelda, you may have like a transformation that transforms you into like Sheik and stuff, but you'll still have the same minigame, so yeah. You w it won't change the. Even if you change a character through a transformation, it will still stay the same. But beside that, besides that, all of these are different, and oh man, I want this back for Smash 4. I kind of doubt they're going to do it now, but I don't know, this is just, this is the best way to do the break the targets game, um, mini game in my opinion. I've already, I've already done the brawl target test. Um, it's it's in a cam it's in camera co quality, but it's still watchable. So, if you want to check that out, as well as other stuff like classic mode, adventure mode, and all that, then go ahead and look at the S Smash Brothers series playlist. I'll probably put it um, as one of the main playlists you can see from the main page on my channel. But either way, we're going to start off, and we're going to go through all of these and I'm going to start with Dr. Mario so let's do this so first off you're going to get this and fail miserably like I did yeah. this is probably not going to take that long to go through because well there's only 25 characters in this game um, I'm not sure if that's counting the transformations or not but well in terms of I believe there's um, 25 target test levels, so it shouldn't take too long to go through, provided I don't fail too much, but yeah. Again, I just feel that this is the best way to do this minigame, because you have so much um, variety, because, you know, every character is, every character's stage is designed to fit their, pl oh crap, it's to fit their playstyle. The problem with uh, brawls is that it's, there's only five levels, and they're only they only become increased in difficulty. They're not like structured from the basis of like someone's playstyle or anything. It's basically just oh, let's just put a bunch of these things here and um, call it a day. It feels really lazy because it's just I don't know. The, it's just five levels of target test, and they just... I don't know, I just i just feel that this is better because you can utilize um, the character's abilities more, and, you know, it's better structured that way, in my opinion, in my opinion. And it can, yeah, it tests your abilities and whatnot. I don't know. It feels, for, to me, it, it, it feels like they just went like, oh yeah, that's right, we have to do a top, break the targets mini game. Uh, let's just do, uh, shouldn't we, should we make every character have their own, just like specific one? Nah, let's just make five. Okay. It just feels kind of tacked on in Brawl. Yeah. And there are, there are some specific targets you can't, you have to wait to get, until you do it last. Okay, Luigi's one is really not. It's either it either takes uh, like not no long at all or very long because well it's just ru one room and basically it just involves all the targets flying around. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good, good now, but it's really random if you're good at things like this, then it shouldn't be a problem for you. Oh, gah, man. It shouldn't be a problem for you, but... 
Yeah, it's just a bit based on lo it's, it's basically precision, I guess. Like ti timing when a target's gonna fall somewhere and things like that. It's kind of it's kind of pretty much based on pre precision, I suppose. It's not too difficult when you, once you get the hang of it, but yeah. But I keep failing, falling down the same exact hole, like 60 times. Okay, maybe not that much, but still. Right. There we go. Alright. I don't want to say too much. I want to talk about Smash 4 stuff, but I kind of want to save that to when we get to it because that'll give me a lot of things to say when we, when we do play that game. But yeah. Also, All Star Mode, I found out that is a mode I haven't actually recorded yet, so. Oh. So yeah, after I finish these, I'm going to show off the. All star modes for both this and Brawl. But after that, we're pretty much done, so. Well, if there's like a delay in content, it's not that I'm like, oh, too lazy to record because I've, I'm starting to schedule my uploads now, so. Um, was it? Starting to schedule my uploads, so I'm more consistent with my content. Like, all that Subspace Emissary was recorded. Mm, like two a couple weeks in advance and they were all s and like the last s like recording session was all scheduled for this week so yeah I had that and um, well as of well you can guess when this is recorded now but um, as of now um, I'm I've re I've recorded well I've recorded all of the break that of the all of the event matches as you know and um, yeah those are being s edited and scheduled as we speak uh, what uh, part f part three is actually rendering right now well there we go but yeah if there's a delay after all this smash stuff is out yeah, that, it's not because I'm being lazy or or slacking off or anything like that. It's mainly because I have nothing else to upload until Smash 4 comes out. Because, well, as you know, my internet in a, in this games room where I record and all that is busted right now. It doesn't want to work whatsoever. And again, as I've said before, um, the next episodes for 06 and Pikmin 3 are going to have guests, so... I can't really do that with no internet, and um, and same with the online matches. If I don't have the internet, I can't go online. So, yeah, yeah. So, since I can't go back and do recording, LP, I could do 06, but I, I, um, but I I have promised that the next episode will be um, like a, a collab. So. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to just say just randomly record, because that'll be kind of wow, man. You lied to me. You lied. But uh, yeah, it doesn't. Um, after after all this smash content, there's gonna be not too long of a delay, but there there is gonna be one regardless. So yeah, it's not gonna last too long. Like when. The 28th arrives. Expect a ton of content, and especially since that's uh, during Christmas is when my brother comes home, and hopefully uh, he'll be able to work out why the internet is not working and all that stuff. All right. So you have to. Okay, so on this one you have to. Go up here, and there we go. 
I didn't think I would get that one, but okay. Alright. Yeah, we're going through this pretty quickly. Okay, so for Ganondorf's. Okay. It's pretty self-explanatory. They The targets just pop out and you have to be quick about it. Alright. Ah. Okay, stay over here. Alright, got that. There we go. Yeah, that's not too difficult. Falcos and Falco and Foxes are probably my pro one of my favourites actually. Um, they just I just find them the most fun. I don't know. They're well, again, they're well designed to fit the, the characters' play styles. So here you have to use the laser gun, and um, be quick with that. Whoa. Okay. Hey, can I shoot through here? There we go. Go through the wall. <laughs> okay, this is kind of tricky. I failed. I got it. It's fine. Alright. Oh. Yeah. This is a bit tricky. Ah. Oh, come on. Ah. I'm going to try going for that first. There we go. Right. right. Okay. There we go. Now to get back. What? Gonna have to use invincibility frames for this. There we go. Now to get the rest. Shouldn't be too hard. Alright, got that. And finally to get this. Yes. Not the perfect... Not the best run ever, but... Ah, uh, it works. The heck happened to my screen? Okay, there we go. For some reason my screen froze. And you get to get this one by timing your fire move. And gun. Gunshots. Oh. There's one up here. Okay. There. Yeah, I'm not the best at these, but I at least know um, what to do for the most part. I hate it when it does. Ugh. I hate it when the speed fox well that move. I hate. I don't know what it's called, but I hate it when it doesn't work. Because sometimes, like, it, it doesn't go as far as it as it normally would. I don't know what at, what makes that happen. Is it? Does it depend how much you use it? I'm not sure. I really don't. I'm not gonna try that. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's really tricky. Right. This is, I don't know, if, is this gonna be in one video? Cause this might just be for one video, man. This is going really quick, even though I'm stuck. I'm on this for a while, but even still, it's going really fast. Okay. Oh, come on. It's still too far. Okay, I'm going to go to the... I was trying to be cool. No. 
Yeah, that was dumb. Why can't I do this anymore? Right. There we go. Right, let's show the targets what we got. Okay. I oh, failed again. No! Oh, okay, good. Okay, stand here. Okay, good. Okay. Now I can move on to Ness. I don't... This is one of the more... Um, projectile focused ones as you probably would have guessed because that's what Ness is Ness is blah, blah, blah. Ness's moveset is centered around like uh, mostly projectiles and whatnot and just PK Thunder, PK Fire, uh, PK Flash I think is B standard B movies. I'm trying to get this. This is Probably the hardest one to get. Uh, PK... Uh, PK Thunder is your friend here because it helps out a lot in taking out the majority of these uh, targets. So yeah, you want to use it for most of these. Right, get there. Ugh. You can barely get up here on your own. You can use PK Thunder, but... Yeah, that might, you might um, overjudge it or something. Like, you might end up killing yourself by accident, but hopefully that doesn't happen because there's a bunch of things you can, a bunch of, like, gates and stuff you can bounce off, so. Now, this is an interesting one because um, if you play Ice Climbers, you'll know, that you, you'll recognise this type of, like, uh, structure, I guess, for lack of a better term, because these blocks and these clouds are exactly like the ones from Ice Climber on the on the NES, and it's also fun funny because um, you only play as Popo here. Nano is nowhere to be seen, which is how it was in the original, I like the Ice Climber game. You had Nana if you played two like co-op or two-player co-op or, or whatever. But if you played single player, you'll only have Popo. So pardon me. And again you have this guy, the eagle. So yeah, it's essentially just like an ice an ice climber level. Like scale like not as deep like deep. I I I don't know how to put it, but it's nowhere near as uh, I want to say complex, I guess, as the levels found in Ice Climber, but it's very, um, what is it? It stays very true to what the series, what the game is, what games like, I guess. Alright. Another example of one you want to leave for last, you don't have to for that one, but I find it to be recommended, so. I like how this, I'm pretty sure that this looks, these, this design is the same as the Fox and Falco one. Well, I don't know, I, I guess I'll have to look back at them in the recording, but the, the, this feels very much like a Metroid style. It, it just has that kind of feel, especially with these platforms here I'm standing that I'm standing on now. I know it just for me it just screams Metroid. And again, they made sure that each of these uh Okay don't that's good. Each of these uh mini games like stages of break the targets actually uh fit the players like place the characters play styles and stuff like that. 
Okay. Alright. You want to use Din's fire for a couple of these. Um. Alright. Most noticeably. Most notable for. Notably for those. And, uh, okay. Yeah, I, 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 I want this. If this is n not in Smash Wii U, I want it to be like DLC for the future because I really want this type of break the targets back. I don't. Uh, I'm not too big on. Uh, was it? What's the mode? The bomb one, target blast. Yeah, that's it. I'm not too big on it. It's not. I don't think it's bad. It's. It's fine for what it is, but I, I would just like a break the targets like this because there's a lot. It gives you like more content to go through, and it kind of makes you learn the characters more. I guess not as much as to say uh, event matches, but it's still a nice thing to have. And yeah, I just. I'm just, I was just really bummed out it wasn't in 3DS, but, and, well, I don't think it's going to be in the Wii U game, but, again, if it is, if it isn't, please make it DLC. I would, I would love a Nintendo and a Sakurai to do, if they did that, just, oh man. Okay, so anyways. I've all I used to be stuck in this because I never knew how to get out, so I was literally just in there, I was sitting dark. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna say but this is the harder, probably one of the harder ones, at least for me. All right, got that. So I how li young Link has fire arrows, yet he... Actually, no, never mind. I was, I'm thinking about Ocarina of Time. He uses fire arrows in Majora's Mask, so... Okay. You have to be good with like, Link's moveset very much here. Again, this these um, stages let you learn the character's playstyles more, which I really like. Okay, good. Okay. Can I just walk in? I can, but I can't go up there. Oh, down there, I should say. Don't know why I said that up there. That's no, too high. Okay. Oh, well, you have to have super good aim. Or. Well, you have to time it, basically. You don't have to aim, but. Right, exact time, and I'm failing immensely. Okay. Ugh. Yeah, this is the hard. This is probably the hardest one for me. I've just never been able to do it consistently. Ugh. Right. Learn my video catch up. Okay, there we go. Come on, man. Yeah. Nope. Nope. We can do this, I know. Okay, I'm gonna move a bit closer. Maybe that'll help. Ah. Yeah, see, this is really tricky. Don't even try going in there, because you'll just kill yourself. 
I don't know any other way to do this, so. Probably is. Like some pro I can't try. Nope, nowhere near. Ugh. So, Ganondorf's try about to take over the world when Link is just failing at doing this. Oh man. If Link can't, if Link can't destroy a single target, how is he gonna just how is he gonna defeat the Demon Lord? Seriously. Seriously, man. I hate this. Oh, I, oh yeah, an another thing. I like how this is styled after, like, a tree. So it kind of reminds, it kind of reminds me of, like, the De great Deku tree. Somewhat. I'll stand up here. And do a charge shot. No. no. Finally! Took way too long. Okay, don't die now. This is the hardest one. Well, not the hardest one, but kind of tricky. Yes. All right, final lineup. 